let's say we've got a spreadsheet like this. We've got the months, we've got the destination networks, we've got the revenue, we've got some costs. And we want to now know what does this come to. Now for the moment we're going to pretend we don't have this net profit. So we do actually have the answer here. But let's pretend we don't have it. So what we want to do is we want to find out what that number is. Now you can do this I suppose. And work it out like that. But it can cause a lot of problems and it's not the ideal way to do it. So it is possible in a pivot table to actually create a calculated field. That is a field that the pivot table knows involves in this case adding that plus that plus that. To do it is relatively simple. I click anywhere in the pivot table. I go to analyze. And you'll see here we've got something called field items and setup. And we've got an item called calculated field. When I click on it, it asks me for a name. So I'm going to call it net profit two for now because we have got another one as net profit one and then it asks for the formula and note that all the items that are here are shown as fields so I know that this one should be the bill and notice it goes up there when I double click plus charge to MTN plus other costs if I'm happy with that I say OK and you'll see it adds it in and gives us the result. So now you can see when I go like this 0 0.83, 0 0.83. The benefit of doing the doing it this way then is that this is now a field. So now I can move the month out and notice that it's still there and it's still correct. I can put the month in, in a different way and it's still correct. I can make it longer and it just updates itself and it's still correct. So this is quite a good way to be able to build f uh, fields in where you need a calculation to be done and you shouldn't do it here on the outside.